Hey guys, it's Felicity. I know I haven't been on in a super long time, but I've been really busy with school and work and everything else. But now I am back in regards to, as what is on everybody's mind, the new sports stacking rules. Okay, so I have the website pulled up, and there are three new rule changes. I'm sure everybody in the world of sports stacking already knows this and has known it for the past 24 hours. Um, I have to say it kind of took us all by surprise. We weren't sure. Uh, I mean, I'm not the only one when I say this, but I, we're, we're all kind of not sure what's going on. The main reason it's being done, and it's being said by multiple people, is because we're too fast for the camera. Period. Um, mainly in the turn and tap. Now, the double down stacking I kind of understand where they're coming from because someone mentioned to me that most all the scratches that happen are double down stacks and for tournaments that the WSA is not present and it's held locally and then they send the videos in later um, they you know the people that got the first place trophy are getting you know, scratched a week later, and then the people that got second place, who would have gotten first place, get no recognition and anything else. I completely, after thinking about it, I really understand where the double down stacking is coming from, and in fact, even before then, I was saying that the double down stack doesn't seem to be too big of a problem. Everybody does it anyway. Well, I can't say everybody, but anyways, it's the most common of, more common than not. Um, hands on the cups while stopping the timer um, while a stacker's hands may be in contact with the cups while stopping the timer as long as the stacker does not hold or appear to hold any cups um, I'm not really sure what to think about that one it's kind of odd and random but um, I, when I stack I at least the minute I hit the timer, I completely freeze. That way, if I am touching the cups, it can be verified and whatnot, which I usually don't have a problem with that. Anyways, that's just kind of up in the air, and everyone's, no one seems to be having too much of a problem with the rule number two. Everybody seems to be very angry about rule number three. <laughs> um, the turn and tap elimination. You can still turn and tap. It's not a penalty or a scratch or fumble or whatever. Um, although once this rule has been around for a while I'm sure turning and tapping might be a scratch or something. I don't know. Anyways, um, my view on that um, it's definitely in, it's definitely needed. Something is needed to change because the turn and tap is the fastest part of the cycle which, yes, I have to agree, the cameras can't always catch them, even high-def cameras that are all awesomely a million frames per second, which I don't know if there is, but anyways. Um, the turn and tap portion of the cycle is no longer required, so as if you, I'm sure you guys have all seen the video, but basically you still have to turn one cup up and one upside down, uh, one right side up and one upside down, which at that point, I'm not sure, and a lot of people are saying, what's the point of turning it upside down if we don't even have to tap it? I have no idea, so don't ask me. Um, <laughs> but you basically just eliminate it. You can still do it, like I said. My view on it is they should have done something a little different, not completely eliminate a part of the cycle, because that's an extra second off a half a second off the cycle or a quarter second off the cycle. So now we're going to see, you know, 5.3 or 5.4 second cycles, if that, especially contributing all three rules. All three rules, we're going to have a four second cycle by, you know, next year, when it, once everybody's used to these. Um, but like I said, I don't know, I, I think they should have maybe incorporated a different way to end the 1101, not necessarily the turn and tap because it's too fast for anyone to catch, especially Steven and Luke and, you know, all these other really fast <laughs> five second stackers. Um, you know, so I, I just, I don't know. I think that they should have 
maybe come up with a different part of the that should end the 110 one that keeps a little bit of challenge. Um, you know, I'm seeing about 90% of comments are saying, what's the challenge of sports stacking now? Are we just stacking cups or are we still doing this as a sport? You know, um, it definitely takes out a challenge because a lot of people have problems turning and tapping. I'll admit I don't always turn, uh, you know, hit the table either. Although for me, I do it, I, I can pay attention enough that I know if I hit the table or not. Anyways, um, yeah, that seems to be the, the biggest one, but I don't know, what's your opinion? Do you think that the turn and tap being completely eliminated is okay because of, you know, the fairness of having the correct people awarded their medals and trophies, or should have they incorporated it or, I in, can't really say invented, it's hard to invent a new part of the cycle, but even if it's just a tiny fraction of a bit, you know, um, into the cycle stack. So what's your, what's your opinion on it? Let me know and I will catch you guys later.